Hi guys, it's Aaron here from Laser and today I'm going to be showing you how to update a CAN interface. Now, you'll need a CAN research and update interface which is available on CANMATE website. The reason we're needing to update a CAN interface today is because we've just done an install on this 2021 Yaris GR and the firmware in the CAN mates doesn't see the CAN bus data from the vehicle so we're going to be needing to update our laser CAN interface now it's quite a simple process you get everything that you'd need to update the software on your CAN bus interface and also um, if there's a vehicle that uh, CAN mate haven't seen before um, or they haven't got the correct data, you can actually use this interface to um, give CanMate the correct data um, and then they can write the software onto a new firmware version and then you'll update your CanMate and it should work on your vehicle the first time. So you get your power bank and Bluetooth module along with um, some other cable accessories which connect to the CanMate itself so you can update the unit uh, and then there's also an app where you can download the software needed um, and that will transfer over to the Bluetooth unit and then into your CAN device. So I'll get this set up and we'll show you exactly what you need to do to update the CAN interface. Okay, so we've got everything put together now. We've got our RUI device connected on uh, to our power bank. That's what's powering it at the moment. So you can literally update a can mate in the field should you need to. Uh, from there we've then got our can mate connected straight up to uh, fly lead. We then need to go onto our phone and with our can mate app. We then need to go into the RUI services and then the product update product uh, part it will ask you to log in with your login details uh, and then it will ask you to connect to your RUI which we are just doing now it will scan through and then it will connect up once it's connected you'll then need to click the check for updates and it will show if there's any updates uh, available on this one there is so we'll literally just click the update product it will fetch the firmware and it will update and when it gets to 100% you will be ready to go and install your camera back into the vehicle um, knowing that the software that's been downloaded will work with your vehicle first time All right, moving on, we're now going to be using the remote uh, support part of the RUI. So, as well as being able to update your CAN interface, um, if you've got a vehicle where there is no CAN information, you can actually use this so that uh, CANMATE can find out if the correct uh, CAN data is being received. So, with the Yaris GR that we have here, um, CanMate already specify uh, a location for a normal Yaris uh, 2020 model but when I installed on the Yaris GR for some reason it wouldn't pick up the high beam so it's not picking up the CAN data so what I've done is use the RUI interface uh, it's differently, it comes with um, these two wires here and they terminate in crocodile clips now what you need to do is locate the CAN where it specifies on CanMate's app, if it does specify a uh, CAN location. Connect your high and low, and then you'll go through live to uh, one of the CanMate operators, and they will take the data that they can see um, from the vehicle, and then work around uh, the software that's coming from the vehicle, like the information that's coming from the vehicle, sorry, and uh, write it into their software. So, in theory, once we've done this, there will be an update for the CanMate, uh, once you've then updated it, it should work absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is just click on Remote Support. Okay, so we just had our RUI session with CanMate. They um, informed us that the software 
uh, they had for the vehicle was uh, different with this vehicle. So what they have done is just um, built new software uh, to make the CAN interface compatible with the Yaris GR. Um, so what I'm doing now is just updating the um, laser CAN interface because there's no software available for it. It's just updating now. Uh, there we go, it's actually just said that the uh, update is complete. So this will now be ready to plug into the car and fingers crossed now our linear 18 Elite low beam assist will power up. 